Who's been naughty? Who's been nice? What kind of mood are Americans in as the holiday shopping season nears a peak? Senior economics reporter Steve Leisman joins us now with the exclusive results of our latest survey where he whips out his tesseract and goes, I don't know how many dimensions. <laughs> Thanks very much, Aaron. Uh, yeah, we do have our CNBC 4D technology to bring you the latest CNBC All, Eco All America Economic Survey. Americans have turned less pessimistic this holiday season, but it's hard to find true optimism anywhere. This could well be the merriest holiday season since the recession began. But given how depressed the past two recessions, the past two Christmases have been, it may not be saying very much. Let's look at our survey of 800 Americans around the country and what they said about the economy. And what you see here when we look at the economy is let's look at December 09. 60 percent thought the economy was poor, 30 percent only fair. Let's look at this year now right here. What happens is we have a decline. If you come over to, I can't ever get it right, this side here, a decline in pessimism. 60 percent back in 09, 53 percent say it's poor now. That's a decline. But then come over to this side over here, and what you see is that the percentage you're saying it's good and excellent, 7 percent, pretty much unchanged. That's why we're saying a decline in pessimism, but no real optimism. How about the outlook for the economy? Get rid of that right here. Let's bring it up now. Again, December 09, 25 percent, a quarter of the American public thought it was would get worse. How about right now in December 2010? 21%. Again, come over here to this side now. You see 25% thought it was going to get worse. Now it's just 21%. And where do they go? Staying over here, saying it's going to stay the same or better. What's behind this optimism? Let's go over here and look at a different kind of virtual board here, where we look at things like what's inside people's economic expectations, like wage expectations. Right here, what you see is that back in when do we start here? December 08, 41 percent thought their wages were going to go up. That's before the recession began. Watch the recession take hold here. 28 percent now in 09. Then it goes down. What's the figure now? December 2010, 31 percent. So we had here uh, an increase, 41 percent, 28 percent. It went up again to 25 percent, and now it's 31 percent. Similar results we see here when we look at way at housing expectations, the percent expecting their housing price to go up. Again, December 08, 17 percent. December 09 comes up again, and then it starts to drop back down. We have a very slight increase, 22% right here, 19%, 20% all the way up. So you can see here that in December 08, the, wage, the, the, the housing space was one of the first things to go down. How does all of this play into holiday spending plans? What are the outlooks on the economy? Get rid of this, show up here. The holiday spending plans, December 09 versus 10, okay? 48% said they were going to spend less last year. Now it's just 38%. How about we'll spend the same? You see the decline in pessimism ends up in people being neutral. And then again, who will spend more? 11% versus 8%. So take a look now. These spending plans here translate from these better economic data over here. You can see that decline in those who are saying are worse from 25 to 21 percent ends up in a few saying they're going to spend more over here and fewer people saying they're going to sp spend less. Guys, I'll be back at 11 with more details on how Americans plan to spend for the Christmas holiday season and which stocks could benefit. So, Mandy, I guess what we're calling from the virtual wormhole, back to you. I'm really, I'm really loving this 4D, Steve. Uh, Steve, it's, um, it's really becoming. It's fantastic. Well, we're sitting here going, wow, that's really cool. <laughs> All day long, we will be bringing you the results of our exclusive CNBC All America Economic Survey. The survey shows Americans they're a little less pessimistic this holiday season, but you know what? They're far from optimistic. How does this affect their holiday spending plan? Senior economics reporter Steve Leisman joins us with the details. Hey, Steve. Hey, Trish, thanks very much. And of course, we have our CNBC 4D technology to bring you this All America Economic Survey, which is a survey of 800 Americans around the country amid slightly less pessimism, but really little optimism. Americans plan to spend, as you might think, slightly increasing their holiday spending, but holding a tight grip on their wallets and in some cases economizing. Let's get right to the numbers here and what we can show you about the holiday spending plans of America. And really what we're going to show you here is a history of the recession. Back in 2007, according to the National, Fed Re National Retail Federation, the spending was $755 per person. Go on down to 08 as they begin to economize and then 09 even more. What do we see now in 2010? A very slight increase. So there you go, from 687 all the way up to 755. Up in here is what we show you, 755 all the way down to 687 down here. Where are they going to economize? The first thing that goes, according to our survey, gifts for adults and other friends there. What's one of the other things? I've been charitable donations take a hit as Americans economize. 
They hold on to their food, though, which is kind of interesting here. Food and holiday meals, just 24%. But this is a kind of worrisome sign. 16% of adults say they're going to do all of these things right here or a combination of them. Now, let's go over here and look at what the actual spending trends are for 2010. Again, we're going to show you here what the results were in 2009. You can see there, 48% of the public said they were going to spend less. That's right over here. And then take a look at the results for this year. 38%. So a 10 percentage point drop in those who say they're going to spend less. Where does that show up? In a bottoming out. It shows up in the middle of Americans saying they're going to really keep it the same and or a very small percentage who say they're going to spend a little bit more, a three percentage increase. Where's this shopping going to be? Some stock market implications right here. Get rid of that. Take a look here. Back in 09, 40 percent said they'd be spending their money at, depart at, at, at big box stores like Walmart and Best Buy. 21 percent online. Watch the changes here. Very interesting. Boom. Right there, 48% now, very interesting. 48% saying they will spend their money at big box stores compared to 40% back in 2009. And then you see here, we're pretty much hitting a milestone here. 21% back in 09 said they were gonna spend their money online. They're one of their top two choices. Now, one in four Americans. We also asked Americans an interesting question here about video games. Do you think video games make good gifts or not for kids? Do they spend too much time using them or do they really, uh, uh, you should buy them for them because they love them? Here's our results. Get rid of that one here. We'll put this one back up. All adults, 44% versus 33%, okay? Watch how it breaks down though. If you don't have kids, you're more against giving video games. If you do have kids, 41% say, put them in front of the box. So we think we're gonna see a lot of video games spending this holiday season. Where are they gonna buy it? We think big box stores and online. I'll be back on Power Lunch with a closer look at online spending, online security questions. Then at two o'clock, we're gonna look at what Americans say about investing in the stock market. Larry and Trish. All day long, we're bringing you the results of our CNBC All America Economic Survey. And right now, we're gonna find out where people are spending this holiday season. It's shaping up to be a very jobs Christmas. Many, many meanings to that. Steve Leisman here with our slice. Hey, Steve. Hey, Aaron, and all day long we're bringing you this 4D technology to give you uh, a look at this All-America Economic Survey where we see some interesting changes in attitudes towards the stock market in our survey of 800 Americans around the nation. And some fascinating data, as you just te teed it up there, Aaron, about one stock, Apple, that I think is going to amaze you. Let's take a look first at Americans' attitudes towards the stock market. And what we can do here, if I move over this way, and it works right there, is look at December 09. Who thought it was good? Who thought it was bad? And who's not sure? Now let's look at the most recent results right here. There they go. A decline in those who think it's good. I guess that's over there. And uh, about even on those who think it's bad. But look at the increase in uncertainty. I want you to just take a close look at this. From 11% back in 09. So what seems to have happened is so we went to good. Others, by the way, inside the detail here, who went from different attitudes, somewhat bad or, or, good, or very bad, ended up in the uncertainty category. Now, I want to look at a different category of adult here, and we're going to compare people who have more than $50,000 in the market with those who, with all adults. There's all adults. We just showed you that data. Now look at those who we call the investors. You can see, if you look again at this side of the graphic, those who have 53, those who have more than $50,000 in the market, more than half of those think this is a good time to invest invest and that compares with 35 percent for all adults. Now I want to go even deeper here and look at the attitudes or the change in attitudes among investors. Just going to get rid of that and bring this back up. This is their attitude towards the stock market back in Christmas 2009. You can see again 53 percent thought it was good and the and uh, somewhat bad 21 percent. Here's how it's changed. Interesting again. Again the same amount think it's good. You can see over here but we've had a bit of an increase in those who think it's a bad time. And then very bad, and again, that rise in uncertainty for those in the market. Now, I want to move over here and take a look at one particular stock that certainly got our attention with all the products it's selling. We asked 800 Americans, will you, do you expect to give or receive an Apple product this year? Look at these results here. 17% said Yes, we expect to give or receive one. That's one in six Americans. Now, what I like about this data here, let's take a look at the unsure. The unsure is only 2% right here, right? Now, we get four, five, six, seven percent on, on political questions, on all kinds of things in the news, but only 2% are uncertain here. And then you see the 81%, that's market share potential growth here for Apple. 
And that's a nice number here, the 17% who say, yes, I expect to either give or receive. Well, now, who is doing it? We have some interesting data on this. Take a look now. Do you expect to get it? Who's going to do it? If you have kids, 27%, not surprising there. Income's over 100,000. And here's the all adults figure, 17%. Who's not getting it this year? Look at here. 30,000 income or, or below. And then, of course, age 65 plus. Now, I don't know if that's a growth possibility right there, but again, it seems like seniors are not quite so attuned to all those Apple products that are out there. I'll be back at three with more on the poll, including why you won't be getting gifts from, you want to be getting gifts from unmarried men who own apartments and not married women. Hint, Aaron. They'll spend more this year. Back to you. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Steve. Lisa. What kind of spending mood are Americans in this holiday season? The answer is in the exclusive CNBC All America Economic Survey. CNBC senior economics reporter Steve Leesman is here with the economic outlook and tells us why you want to be getting gifts from unmarried men who own apartments. Steve O, do explain. <laughs> yeah, Scott, we're going to get down and dirty into the data here in our CNBC All America Survey. We're going to use the 4D technology to show it to you. We're going to show you the American. American economic mood, and then we're going to show you how much they're going to spend. Let's begin with what Americans think about the economy. They've turned less pessimistic this holiday season, but it's hard to find true optimism anywhere. This could well be the merriest holiday season since the recession began, but given how depressed the past two have been, we're not really saying much. Let me show you what we are saying right here, what you can see right here. Oh, i got to move up right here, over here, towards our virtual desk here. There we go. 60% thought the economy was poor back in 2009. What do they think now? Take a look. 53%. So we've had a decline in pessimism, which you can see. But did it show up in good? No. Only 7% say it's excellent or good to, if you combine those two. But then what you see when you look at this area right over here, only 53% now say it's poor. A decline a bit. And you can see where did that end up? It ended up in the second most uh, 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 bad category there, which is only fair. Take a look at their outlook for the economy. Again, a bit of a change right here. If we do, it's a little, operating a little slowly to the, at the end of the day. It's a little tired. Back in uh, 2009, 25% said the economy would get worse. How about right now? Down a little bit, 21%. Where'd it go? Right here in the middle, where people think it's going to be the same. So that's a positive development here, that fewer people think it's going to get worse, but a little decline, interestingly enough, in those who think it's going to get better. How about those, how does all of this that happens over here translate into the spending plans for the holiday? And what you see here is, when we look at holiday spending plans, compared to December 09 compared to December 10, spend less, we have decline there. 38% now say they'll spend less. How about spend the same? That's where all of this went, was into spend the same, because when we look here at who spent more, who's going to spend more, not a whole lot. Now, let's take a look at what this translates into in dollars, and we see a really interesting uh, history here of the recession as we go through it here. 755 was the average spend in 07. This according to the National Retail Federation, and then 08, 694. Come down here, it continues to go down. Finally, 2010, a small bump up 0.7%. All this data up here, this data up here is uh, National Retail Federation data. Um, and then you get down here to the CNBC estimate of $687 for 0.7%. Now, I promise you, who's going to spend more? Well, if you want a more expensive gift, don't be getting it from a married woman. Only 5% of that group says they're going to spend more. How about if your home value is going to decline? Only 6% of that group say they're going to spend more. All adults we just showed you was 11%. Unmarried men, 21% of that group say they're going to spend more. And then here we go. If you, where, where's that? Right over here. If you don't own a home, 22% of apartment dwellers, Scott, say they're going to spend more this holiday season. One other little fact here, Scott, 17% of the public, one in six say they will expect to buy or receive an Apple product for Christmas. Of those with incomes over 100000 one in four. And just very quickly, Scott, I want to thank our 4D team here, Ramona, Andy, Don, Hall, Jody, Eric, and Sean, all of who contribute to bring us this really interesting stuff here. If you take a look at all of it, we've added our uh, 4D, I'm going to call this the econ bar right over here where we can have a drink. And, of course, we have our horizontal bars right over here. Scott, back to you. All right, Steve, thanks so much.